Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today is April the 7th, 2024. What am I doing? Making a little bit of lunch. I'm making salad for me and Joel. Just a little bit, right? I have regular orange peppers, carrots, cu cucumbers, cucum cucumber. You know, first of all, I want you guys to know that I'm going to remove the two videos off my page, the ones that has um, me teaching you how to talk for y'all. I feel like that messed up the algorithm because YouTube knows that my show is about food and cooking. And when I switched it up and did, oh, I'm going to teach you to speak Creole, they don't know who the hell to send it out to. So, um, and I don't know how many people out there really trying to learn how to speak Creole. So I might end up putting those videos at Babs Bear Talk, but I am going to remove them off of my page because they have very little views. You guys loved it and you interacted well with it, but the views are short. Okay? Short. So I'm going to remove them. Hi, Bessie. Hi, Christine. So... I'm going to, um, I've made a decision last night when I was in the shower, I made a decision and I don't think it was a rash decision. Cause I asked Joe, cause he was in there brushing his teeth. And I said, what do you think about how I'm feeling? And he says, I was feeling it from the beginning, but you got so excited when you and your sister was planning it. And so I didn't want to get in the middle of it. And I said, okay, I'm not going to do the powder bun. I'm not going to do the, um, bake the powder bun and sell them. It's, it's, I don't really want to do it. Honestly, there's nothing more I can say than I don't want to do it. I never wanted to cook or bake for a living. If I did, I would figure out how to open a bakery or a restaurant and do that. A lot of YouTubers who had cooking shows back when I started 12 years ago, a lot of them have their restaurants, fancy restaurants, and they're happy. They're enjoying it. They don't make YouTube videos no more. They forgot what YouTube was. They got their start from YouTube, but they quit putting videos on YouTube and decided they want to own a restaurant. I've never been that person. I don't want a grocery store. My dad has had grocery stores since I was a little kid. I don't want a grocery store. I don't want a restaurant. I don't want a bakery. And I don't want to cook for a living. What I want to do is make videos. I was going to do it now and again. Like every now and again, let's do a sale and I'll bake it and send it out. But honestly, the minute I talked about it, when Adafi came in and said, I don't like the... um the four different flavors that you have in the kit. I would rather just have two of the flavors. I knew that was going to happen. And she's not the only one that's going to that, gonna say stuff like that. Adafi, if you're in here, I'm not calling you out to make you feel bad. I'm thanking you because you helped me decide that this is not what I want to do. I don't want to have to stay in here measuring things and baking. And it's a whole different set of packaging that I, I'm going to look at your comments in a bit, okay? It's a whole different set of packaging that I would have to do. So I would have to buy the, the boxes. I would have to get labels to stick on each and every one of the buns because I do things professionally. I worry about people and their allergies and stuff like that. And I would never want to sell you something and not tell you what's in it. So the label on each bun would have to say what's in it. And then I would have to call out if there's allergens in it, like milk, egg, um, what else? Wheat, nuts, stuff like that. And because by law, I have to do that. If you are buying stuff from anybody off of TikTok and they only stick their logo on the thing and send it to you, you are screwed because you don't know what they put in it. You have to put what's in that thing by law because people have deathly allergies to different food. I do. I'm allergic to nutmeg. I keep telling you guys that. So I would have to get labels made for each bun, get labels made for the box, get the, oh hell, get the little packages to put the buns in them to seal them up so that they can stay fresh. No. No, I've decided no. I, I'm grateful my sister came up with the suggestion, but it's not something that I want to do. I really wasn't with it. So let's see who's saying what. Jessica C. Jessica, is that you, my darling? Jessica, how's my baby? I didn't even ask you how you doing. How's my baby? Jessica, how is our baby? How is our baby doing? Our baby is ready for his first eclipse. I wanted to show you what the box ended up looking like, though, just to show you. So don't send me no money to buy powder bun. Don't go to my cash app. If you want to send money just for the hell of sending money, fine. I'll take your money and thank you for it. But you're not going to get no powder bun because I'm not making it. My sister was supposed to pick these up yesterday. She couldn't make it. So I have to go mail them for her. And I don't have a car. 
I got to borrow Jada's card. See that label is on the front and that label's on the back. And this tells you what's in the plain powder buns, right? And then this tells you what's the net weight and the carb and stuff for the plain powder buns. So each bun, I would have to stick a different label on it to say what's in those. I would have to buy this box. I would have to buy the label to go on the buns. And I would have to get these labels because it was be it was going to be too expensive to make. So I'm just going to continue selling the dry mix. That way you can make it yourself. Put whatever you want to put in there. I do have a QR code on the back. Let me get the dry mix. We're going to a festival in town. Throwing, oh my God, they're not doing nothing for the eclipse in my town. But I'm going to sit outside tomorrow when the eclipse is going on. I'm not going to look at it because I don't have the glasses. But I'm going to stay out there and just meditate and pray. I'm not going to eat for the two hours that it's going to be moving through California. Joe is with the kindergartners, so he has to be outside with them. He says, I know one of these little kindergartners are going to take their damn glasses off. I'm trying to look at that thing. <laughs> So I have dry mix in stock. I've sold some over the weekend. Thank you to everybody who's buying. And that kind of encouraged me too. That kind of encouraged me that you guys are going to buy the mix because some people bought this weekend. I have a QR code on the bottom. When you scan that, it takes you to a secret video where I show you how to dump out the package of thing and do exactly what you have to do to make it. There is no effing this up. You can't mess it up. Once you look at that video, you follow the instructions on the back. It's just like buying a box of cake mix. It tells you heat the oven, mix the thing, shape it, and bake it. And I even show you in my commercials, if you don't want to shape it, you can make it into bars and cut it. They stay soft, though. They don't get crispy when they're bars. And I like my packaging. In me and Joe packages in no time. We, we're becoming pros now with this. I'm the one that does all the measuring of the, um, the flour and everything. Joe stays there and double checks me. Like I say, so much flour, you know, um, 700 grams or whatever it is. Yes, we got that. Okay, we got the sugar. Okay, we got the baking powder. Okay, we got this. We got that. Okay, good. This one's ready. Whisk. Measure. Weigh. Seal. Put it aside till Joe can come back with the sealer, right? Boom. Let's mix another batch and another batch. And I mix small batches because I don't want to F it up. You know what I mean? And I want it to mix well. So I'm going to stick with this. I'm not going to let a distraction come through and divert me into that. That's exactly why I didn't want to do that because people are not just going to want plain powder buns. Some people might, but some people won't, right? People are not going to want powder buns with raisin. My kids don't like it with raisin except for jewelry. People might not want it with the milk chocolate chips. They're not used to it that way, right? Belizeans. People might not want it with the white chocolate. Like when Adafi said, I don't like white chocolate. You know, and that was a legit complaint. And I, I want anything but white chocolate and plain. And then later she said, you know what? Just put whatever you're going to put. I can give it away. I don't want you to have to do that. I don't want you to buy an eight pack from me for $30 plus the shipping. And then you end up have to give away four because you don't like the four. Although we do that when we buy um, things that are packaged at Costco and the muffins come in flavors we don't like and we have to miss and, you know, mismatch and whatever. We do that with makeup. I have a makeup thing that I, let me see the thing with you. Hold on, hold on. I'll show you something. Give me a second. Oh, it's right here. I have two makeup kit right here where I only use four of the colors. You can see the four colors I use because it's dug out. None of the other colors suit me. So what the hell am I going to do with this when it's done? Throw it away with all those colors in it and buy another one to use them same four colors. I wish somebody would just put those four colors for me together. You know what I mean? But they don't. You have to buy this whole kit like this. Same thing with this. I use two things, this one and that one. I got to buy the whole kit to get them two things, right? So thank you, um, uh, Bessie, for promoting the Potabon Dry Mix. Jessica said the package is, re is really nice. Just Jessica, can you give them um, a comment about the Potabons and the one that you liked when I made it for you? You're the one that excited me to continue making that one too, by the way. Let me cut up my carrot. So my sister was supposed to come by yesterday with her husband and the husband's cousin who was the cyclist in Belize who won last year, but they couldn't make it because of time constraints. I was very disappointed, but I understand. And um, I made panadas for them and garnaches and a chocolate cake. And I was really looking forward to the visit, but it couldn't happen. Then, we, then she said, well, let's go live 
and put the young man on the panel with me. But that didn't work out because he went to go run an errand and he came back too late and the live would have been after 11 you guys time, the people on the East Coast. And I wanted you guys to be in it because you, you guys are the only ones that come into the live. You know what I mean? Yes, baby Joseph. Baby Joseph. I like how Jose called the baby Junior. And he ain't named no damn Junior. His name is Joseph. Okay? Not no damn Jose. Hi, Jose. <laughs> Which Jose is the Spanish, right? Spanish for Joseph. But he doesn't have the same middle name. You have to have the same middle name to be a Junior. Yes. Mm-hmm. This carrot's light drop for my damn counter and it only could orange it up. Orange it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, this little bowl here is just for later. Uh, these are the vegetables that don't give me any gas pains. So that's what I tend to stick with. And then Joe doesn't stick with anything else. I know he's like junior. Let him say junior if he want to say junior. He's so happy to have his baby. Mm -hmm. So Jada's song is almost ready. I know we keep saying that, but it's a process. You know, they had to put the instruments together first. Then Jada had to go in and lay down the tracks. Well, first Jada went on and laid down the demo stuff. Then the real tracks. Then she went back in and corrected some parts. I know she has to go back in and again and correct some other parts. And what she's correcting is the backup singer part because she's not paying no damn backup singer. She's her own backup singer because she can sing four octaves. So she just has to go sing some other parts that they want to change. And then they're going to master it. And once they master it, it's done. So I Joshua went with his big ass mouth. And told Jada that I'm playing the song for everybody. No, I'm not. I play the song for one person. And that's my cousin Crystal. I didn't even play for Effie. I played for Crystal. Not one, one person I played it for. Just was, I played for everybody. I played the song several times. Because I'm critiquing parts of the song and stuff like that. But I'm playing for nobody else. I said, you're going to get my ass in trouble. You see how people could tell things out there? No, no, the whole, he didn't lie, but he didn't know the whole story. So it's like crazy. So I, I wanted to make this video. I'm, it's not going to be very long because I'm going to heat up my panadas. It's already in the air fryer to heat up. And I'm going to have two panadas with this little bit of salad right now. And then later I could probably eat something different if I'm hungry. But Lucy May, Lucia Gordon Dawson. Who this? Who, Lucy, is that you? Lucy. So that's not the Lucy that I know. I know a Lucy Dawson. Okay, Lucy says, Barbara, I enjoy watching you cook and bake. I do not like cooking or baking, but watching your videos is inspiring to do. But that is so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much because I've been doing it 12 years. And I do cooking videos because that's all I know how to do. I know how to sing, but I would never sing for YouTube because it's going to be too much work and you don't get paid. You have to depend on fan funding to get paid for singing. You know what I mean? And I can sew a little bit, like four items. I know how to do. So I know how to do like three bags really, really well and not off the shoulder top really, really well. The rest of it is just like mistakes as I go. So I can't teach sewing. You know what I mean? <coughs> Jody, that welcome in. Yo, Cora, welcome in. So um, I feel like people are not watching cooking videos because I was telling some people this morning that the cooking videos that are getting a lot of views are the nasty ones where people are cooking macaroni. Joe, can you start the, um, the air, air fryer for me? The panada scene there? Um, do, do you heat the panadas first in the microwave, then put it in the air fryer? Okay, I, I didn't do that yet, baby. Can you do that for me? Thank you, baby. Oh, you're new to the channel? Because we know a Lucy Dawson. 
Joe's the godfather to Lucy's <laughs> oldest child, and the child is about 40. So you see how long we've known Lucy Dawson? Hi, Stacy. It's the people doing the nasty stuff. The ones that are making the macaroni and cheese in the toilet, literally in the toilet. The ones that are like making things in the nasty sink, no matter how much you clean the sink. Right, Joe? They put the, the lasagna, the, the, the spaghetti, the, the sauce, the cheese, the meat, and they mix it up in the sink. Why the sink? Why not a bowl or a pot, right? So the ones that are taking the yeast from their you-know-where and making cinnamon rolls with it, and then they end up with sores. I was going to say the full word, sores on their lips. Those are the videos getting all the views in cooking. Or if you meet YouTube's inclusion thing. If you are a gay family and you adopted outside kids and you adopted a kid from Africa and, you know, those are the channels getting all the views. If you have no teeth, if you're up there with no teeth and spit flying out your mouth and you cooking, oh, they like that. They like that. So you're living in Asheville, North Carolina. You're from Belize originally. What part of Belize? Let's see if you're from my neck of the woods. Do you have your salad here, baby? Baby, those are not washed yet. Come on. Here, 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 here. Here's your salad. I didn't rinse those yet. So I wanted to let you guys know publicly, right, that I have a cousin and he reports on the race and um, the bicycle race in Belize. And he's he does it really, really well. He's always excited when he does it. And he has a couple of um, young men that uh, drives the motorcycles and he sits on the back with his phone and they're following the riders. Well, one of his best riders was murdered yesterday morning. That thing really hit me because you see these people on his show all the time. It's kind of like if you watch my show all the time and you see the players in the show and then one of them, something bad happened to you feel the pain, right? Like if you know the people, I don't know the young man, but from everybody's report, the young man is, has always been decent, humble, quiet, easygoing, peacemaker. So we don't know why somebody would shoot him up as he's driving. You're from San Pedro? Oh, cool. I went to San Pedro one time when I was a child growing up. My dad's band was playing there at San Pedro. My dad used to own that band, Vibrations. And we went with them for the trip. They took us like a little family vacation. And I just remember being sick on the boat. And then when we got to the little hotel or whatever where we stayed at, we had there was only hammocks sleeping. One bed was there for the for the adults. And all the kids had to sleep in hammocks. And I couldn't cope. I would throw up and throw up and throw up because I couldn't sit in the hammock. And so my parents had to put me in the bed with them. That's all I remember about San Pedro. Yes, that, that that was a thing that came up on TikTok. I'm telling you that them people nasty. Them people nasty. So those are the kind of cooking videos that are getting views. Or the ones that are doing cooking hacks. And the cooking hacks are not real. They're not real. When they're telling you, oh, squeeze the ketchup this way instead of this way, it's lies. They're making up shit as they go along. I don't like to lie to my people. I'm sorry. I just don't lie to my viewers. Hi, Cousin Jay. Cousin Jay, my idea for the pot bun was short-lived because I don't want to do it. I, I thought about it and all the work that went into making these 32 pot buns for this order, and I, I realize it's too much. I want to do my dry mix. Let the people make it themselves. Just, I want to get behind my dry mix. And no, I can't sell the dry mix in people's store because I'm not going to make no profit. Oh, I got you. I got you. So you didn't miss out on anything. So, um, Cousin Jay, are you guys going to see the eclipse in Belize? <clears throat> Tomorrow? You know, and you know what? I, when I say that, people kind of laugh at me when I tell them I don't, I don't like cooking and I don't like baking. I don't hate it. And if somebody's coming to the house 
That's the way I can show them love. I'm excited to do it and I'm happy to do it. So I don't want to say hate, right? But if I had a choice for a job to do for the rest of my life, it wouldn't be cooking. So then people ask me, well, then what are you doing making cooking videos? Well, I'm making videos. There's a difference. I'm making videos. You can ask Joe. He's not going to lie. Joe does all the cooking. He doesn't like cooking either, but he don't want to eat nobody else's food out there. So he gets up and he does all the meats. I should say all the meats. And then now and again, he'll do white rice. But me and Joshua mostly take care of the white rice. I take care of the garden salad all the time. We have things that we do. If we're doing burgers, me and Joshua will take care of the mushrooms and onion to saute that, right? We'll take turns. Sometimes Joshua spices, you know, seasons up the burgers and he cooks them for us. He'll toast our buns and he'll say, I don't know what you want this with. Are you just going to eat the burgers and the salad? Or, you know, are you going to have a couple of my fries? We work together as a team, the three of us. And then there's times when Jada pops in here and she'll cook up a storm with something fantastic. She's such a good cook. And then we enjoy that and we're done. So not one person has the burden. But Joe likes to tease when we go to parties and go, she don't even cook for me no more. She only cook for that damn show. But he's teasing because we do trade off. I hardly do the meats though. When I'm doing the meats is if I'm doing like chicken nuggets and stuff and soups. Joe doesn't do well with soups unless it's like um, fish, that fish thing that he does with the coconut milk. He does a really good job with that. I'm the one that has to make the, um, what do you call the thing? The roux. I have to think about RuPaul to remember. I'm the one that does the roux for the soups and the stews. I know I can't deal with the hammock girl. Yeah, so I prefer to just make this. This recipe is over 40 years old. Don't you think I've perfected it by now? So where you just follow like two simple steps and you make it and I put all the stuff here for you to know what you're getting. Girl, you know what you're getting. And these are easy for me to put together. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to sell them on Amazon because I'm not going to make no profit. Amazon going to give me 35 cents. No. We had a total solar eclipse a few months ago. A few months ago. What? Thank you, Miss Lucky. A few months ago. I got to check on Carla. What Carla did today? Um... What was I checking on? Oh, I know what it is. Why can't I get what I want to get out of here? One of my neighbors across the street is selling their home. So we see what it's going for. Hold on a second. Let me see what Jory needs. Hold on. Hi, Jor. Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring it. Let us see. You know, we don't have a car, so we can't go and get it. Yeah, I'll bring it. Let me see. You know, we're going to sweatshop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I didn't get none. All I got was that one that said what I owed for the two bills put together. So I'm going to be on the lookout for it, though. Okay. I hope so, because then I wouldn't have to pay that bill. Yeah, that's what I own. I, guess I owe $83, so if they give me $79 off, I'm good. I'll go into the account and see what I owe, though. That would be a better thing. I'll let you know when I go into the account, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see the house across the street selling? Uh, next door to Amory. So on the left, like if we're looking through the window on the left of Amory. Yeah. 553. My, mine, mine is, um, the Zestimate is, is above that though. And uh, those people are the ones calling code enforcement on Amory. We know now what the minute they put up the sign. 
I texted her and she goes, I knew it was them. They want to sell the house and they don't like my yard. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. you, you can't live in Fontana, Jory. You can't. <laughs> All right, bring the thing whenever you're ready, okay? Okay. <coughs> See you soon. Okay, bye-bye. In case you guys, because I took that other video down yesterday, so you might, you guys might have missed it. Jory is graduating on April the 25th, and he bought his cap and gown off of Amazon because from the college they want $250. And he said, I haven't gotten paid in 14 weeks. F that noise. And he bought it off of Amazon. I want to say $30. And he said the sleeves are too poofy, and he wants to know if sweatshop can do anything to fix that. I said, bring it. Let's see. We're going to F it up. We F up all the Jada stuff from um, Sheen. 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 Every time we come, we take out the zip and put in a better zip. He's sending me a picture of what it looks like. Damn, what the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. We gonna cut it. Bring it. Okay. Okay, bring it. Yeah, he's he's gonna get his masters, but um, you know we don't lie over here. He's just walking, April the twenty fifth, because he doesn't get his masters till August. But he's passing every class so far, so he's gonna get it, and he get his teaching credentials in May, and so that's why they told him that he can walk on the twenty fifth of twenty twenty four rather than wait for the twenty fifth of twenty twenty five. So when we post pictures and stuff, you guys know, you guys know. So Cousin Jay, there was a lady that came to Jada's video with the Ancestry DNA. She started to tell me off, okay? It was an annular solar eclipse. What the hell is an annular solar eclipse? The moon partially covers the sun and a ring. Okay, I got you. So the lady say, the thing with us, I don't know what the hell she means, us women, black women, Latina looking women, fat women, what a rash she to talk about, right? She said the thing with us is that we will lay down and have inter, and she split up the word course, split up the word with anybody before we know who the hell they are, if they're if they're related to us. Bitch, how is anybody gonna know? Right? So everybody gonna take DNA now. Me and Joe never have nobody in connection ever in life. In 40 years of being together. Man, I wanted to cuss this heifer out so bad, but I went down and said, are you okay? I really want to know if you're okay. Really, because when you go for the marriage license, they make you take a blood test. But the blood test is not to see if you're freaking family. The hell? She said it. I don't know if I screenshot it. I don't know who that heifer was. Beverly some shit. Uh, if I could find the comment, I'll screenshot it and I'll post it on the damn community feed so you guys can see. Oh, so you're just going to eat and leave me right here behind in the dust again? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Show, show that this. Look at this nice onion sauce. See, Trey, see this is what you mix. <laughs> I made a nice onion sauce. I don't eat the onion sauce and I made it. I don't know if she's Belizean. But Cousin Jay, there was something I wanted you to look up. What in the hell was it? Do you remember what I wanted Cousin Jay to look up? Something with this ancestry thing? I'll think about it and tell you. My aunt Nita call every day. Did you hear from the Cousin Jay yet? About anything else she may have found out about the family history? So I, it, it was something that came up when I was writing my mom's book. Something came up when I was writing her book. This is not it, but I wanted to know this is not it, though. It was something else more major. I wanted to know if you knew the name of my Uncle John. Remember the five that came from Adriana and um, Edward Lord? Everybody, I have first and middle name. But for Uncle John, I don't have his either first or his middle name. Because, you know, a lot of the times they call the people them by their middle name instead of the first name. Okay, I'll text you afterwards, okay? Because I don't know what that, that is. I 
don't know why this man like go outside and let you in here because they know you have to smell up underneath him. I'm gonna beat you, Joe. You and your granddaughter. She, the minute she hear the door, she want to be out there with Joe. <coughs> yeah, so um, I don't know what Uncle John's full name was. If you have that anywhere, let me know. But there was something else that came up while I was writing my mom's book that I wanted. I can't even turn the camera around to show you. Hold on. I, I have to... Um, call or text or not because he made a video saying that he was swatted he was swatted i'm going to take a picture to show you more or less how the book is looking oh no not that one where the hell is the other one did i close it hold on guys open open with preview oh it's not closed Okay, just to show you how it's being formatted, right? You could come, Joshua, you know. See? The book is looking good. I'm having black and white pictures in there. It's a nice little story that I've told about mommy. Well, mommy told half the story herself. All the um, growing up stories mommy told. And I just went ahead and wrote it in English for her. Okay, I got you. Take your time. Take your time. Make Lita wait. Take your time. Hi, Auntie. Yeah, so um, this person came in and act like me a whore. Wouldn't live on with anybody. And I gone with my own family, like at a royal breed. This thing say we are fourth to sixth cousin. And I, I feel like we're more like sixth cousin with 23 centimorgans. Uh, um, cousin Jay, don't me and you have the same 23 centimorgans, right? And it's like... We feel like we're related through my father's mother, somewhere way up there, and through Joe's dad, somewhere way up there. We don't know, and we don't care to know. We've been done, had our three kids, and all of them are perfectly fine. We don't have to have no more kids. We're done. I'm like, what the Ross? I will find that comment. I didn't delete it. I didn't block her. I just asked her if she was okay. I'm like, are you okay? Because, you know, people don't know what kind of day you're having. They don't know what kind of weekend you're having. They don't care. They don't know what kind of week you're having. And they come at you all wrong. And then when you cuss them out, they say, oh, she's nasty at her channel. But there's no job. Like I always say, there's no job that you can do in the world where your customers can come and cuss you out and tell you all type of nastiness. And you can't go to your boss or to HR and say, this customer is, is antagonistic all the time when they come in and they'll block the customer from coming into the business. You know what I mean? There's no other job. Uh, what I was saying about do not, Miss Lucky too, do not got swatted. It's not the real SWAT team that they sent, but they sent the police to his house for a wellness check. When people know your address, they do bullshit like that. And they're going to get somebody killed. YouTube need to put a stop to that crap. What they want is the body cam footage. So they could, when they, when they request the body cam footage, because they made the call and they sent it to them, they're going to put it all over social media as content to show where you live. You were at my TikTok? Well, thank God you've warned me so I don't go look, Rob, because I don't even look to see what them stupid assholes say at TikTok. I've stopped posting videos there for videos there for a long time, and I go back once a year and post something. TikTok don't pay. I have over a thousand subscribers there. I have over two thousand subscribers there. I went live one time at TikTok and it was all those nasty Persian men that want to open bobs. You guys remember when that was happening on Periscope? They don't know how to say show me your boobs. Those, those um, Arab men from over there. So they come on and go, open bobs, open bobs. They, they, even they even had T-shirts that were being made back in those days saying open bobs. It's all those men that came on, open bobs, and they wanted to come up on stage with me. I'm like, the hell? I don't know you. They're nasty. Whenever you do anything where you're teaching somebody to do something, especially cooking, everybody thinks that they could cook, even the lowest of the person that don't even know how to boil water. They'll come on and tell you, oh, that's wrong because my granny used to do that. Well, then go dig up for she dead Ross and do what she tell you to do. That's what I tell them because I always assume the granny's already dead. Go dig up her dead Ross 
and ask her, what did you do here again? Did you put baking powder in the bun? Because this girl is over here putting baking powder in her bun. What happened to the next YouTuber over there and put egg in the Belize Creole bun? That egg no go in a Belize Creole bun. But if she want to put it, go girl, go. Put it if you want to put it, because I put egg in powder bun and egg not supposed to go in a powder bun. So you do what you want to do. I'm not going to bash you. Mm-hmm. They get on my nerves and I was tired. I was tired because I took one day to, to make all my uh, dry mix. Then And then that same day I baked all these powder buns. And then yesterday I did all that cooking. So I went, I, when I was in the shower last night, I was leaned up against the wall. I'm like, I kept saying, I'm okay. I kept telling that to my own self, soothing my own self, right? I'm okay. I'm okay. And Joe was in there brushing his teeth and he goes, babe, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to convince myself that I'm okay. Plus Jada's song that she's going to put out, there's um, there's a, a chant in there where she kept saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. So I just kept saying, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm tired. I did so much for nothing, but I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Kathy, dig up them dead rats, granny, wet on maggage under the earth. Girl, let me tell you, I had a mother that had a moat on her. We could cost anybody from up ancestors five level high down to the unborn aborted fetus from their grandchildren and great-grandchildren. We could cost everybody out. We know how to do that. Maybe I could do that and make money at YouTube. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You see, um, Rob, you see, that's what people know how to do before they lift you up. See, that's why my kids are well-rounded because like how Jada doing that song and she's had me listen to it every step of the way. And I know what the song was like when she was doing it by herself. And I saw the vast improvements and there's two spots in there that we don't like me, Joshua, Jory, Joe. And well, Crystal, she didn't say shit. She loved the song. And we sat her down and I said, it's your song. Eventually you're going to do what you want to do with it. But we don't like those two spots. It's distracting. It's not needed. And other than that, the song is phenomenal. So we know how to give you the good with the bad and not have to put you down. So she listened. I felt like she listened. I don't know that she's going to change it. She's going to change one. One of them is gone. She says, I don't like that one. So thank you for telling me. But this one here, I like it here. And I said, okay, I've said my piece. We're not going to argue. The rest of the song is amazing. I can hear it in any movie. I can hear it in any um, what do you call it? Um, song track to something, you know, it's really, really a nice song. The way that the, that guy from Juilliard, he knows what the hell he's doing. She's got a Juilliard graduate, not a Juilliard attendee that, that dropped out. He graduated from Juilliard and he's the one that's her producer producing the song. She's so excited for it that she even told the British producer, it's okay. It's okay. What we're doing over there is separate. What I'm doing here is my thing. Okay, so you're more related. And how much related? Okay, let's see. Um, Cousin Jay say, let's put it up here so I could read it better. Cousin Jay said, we are third to fourth cousin, 73 centimorgans. I share pretty much the same with Jada and Jory. And I'm second to third cousin with Joshua. You know, you see how that thing work? You don't know why, right? I think that's because I'm also related to Joe, fourth to sixth cousin at 22. See, you related to Joe the same amount that I'm related to Joe. And what the hell can I do about it? This bitch going to talk about inter-space course. Bitch, go eat a D. That's what I want to tell her. Oh, God, this is a daytime show, isn't it? You guys know what I mean. Mm-hmm. mm, -mm, -mm. It's crazy. You, you come in here, you got to go find the groceries. You have to find money to buy the groceries. You got to come make the food. Well, and there's a lot of people. Huh? Charging another battery. That's the battery from the Tahoe. Uh, At first, he was charging the battery for the beach. Right. right. And then he was going to jump the Tahoe off. But the Tahoe is so dead that he just decided to charge the battery from the Tahoe. Okay. Um, can you get me those parts over there that that is waiting for for the Tahoe so I can show him? I think it's on his desk. It's white plastic that looks like a like a pow pow. See, DNA is random, see? All the parts are just... Yeah, there's two pieces. One that looks like oh, a pow pow and a little piece. There's a little piece that looks like a clip that would okay. go into the pow pow. Yeah. Yeah. So let me show you what the truck needs, okay? Hmm? What's a pow pow? Genuine. Huh? We can't say the word on YouTube. 
Oh. Oh, I got you. Mm -hmm. All right. So this thing is what's needed. Joe, is this the brand new one? Mm -hmm. So Joe needed two. There's a black one and this white one. Where does the black one lead to? The cool side? Mm -hmm. Does the black one lead to the HVAC, the cold side? And this lead to the heater core? So one goes to the heat and one goes to the cold. Joe didn't know that the car had two and that he needed two. So he only bought one. Then he had to wait for this to come. Then he had to wait for the tool to come to get the thing off to put this on. And then now he realized you need two because the other one broke up too. Because the car 20 years old, right? The Tahoe 20 years old. So he needs the black one to come. It's going to come tomorrow. But it's not promised that it's going to come in the morning. It might come 10 at night. As well as it might be delayed and not come till Tuesday because you know how Amazon work. Charge you for... um. Amazon Prime for two-day shipping and no, shit is a lie. Yeah. So he's waiting for the black one to come. And then he needs this thing here that we were calling a washer or a sealer. Joshua, you going to take? Yeah, okay. Talk I'll talk quieter. But it's actually called a retainer, like the thing you put on your teeth. And Joe, did you find this? You find it online? Did you buy it? Okay, so he, he gone to the parts store and the boy tell and hold. They don't make this no more. You have to buy the whole hose, another $57. He already fixed two other things that's wrong on the Tahoe, you know. He fixed the oil pressure gauge thing. That doesn't stop the Tahoe from running, right? But that need to be fixed because then you don't know if you run out of oil. And then he fixed the evaporative valve. That need to be fixed because the next thing you know, you shut down on the freeway. We don't know what thing they operate, so that's fixed. So now while fixing that, he saw that these things are crumbling for the whole hose that goes to the heater core. What does the heater core do to the car? What does the heater core do to the car? It doesn't cool the engine down? No, it's just for the heater and the air conditioning. So it's all for the HVAC. And so he's fixing that so now the car can't run because he has parts off of it. Battery dead. If the heater core grow up, you have to take the whole dashboard out completely. We don't want to blow up the heater core. That's a what, $400? Yeah, exactly. So sometimes you could fix something. This thing is $10 at um, Amazon. The next one is $10. That's $20. Over at the parts store, they want $28 for one. That would have been what, $40 something, $50 something, $52, $56, whatever. This thing right here at $8. They said, and them sell it. They want we come up with $57. So we still don't have a car. I know that Jada is back from her vacation. We hell don't have a car. Because Jada is going to go work. She went to work with the drag queens today. She's going to go to a concert tonight. Tomorrow she has to go work her real job. You know, we can't carry her to work and go pick her up because the job is just far enough to be annoying. But Jory, bless his heart, was like, well, I could stop here in the morning. You guys could drop me to my job and then come back and get me two o'clock. And then that way you could have the truck to use. That was sweet. That was sweet. But we're going to be all right. We're going to borrow Jada's. Jada said we could borrow the vehicle tomorrow morning. We're going to take this to ship out and the other powder bond mixes that I sold. And that's it. One shipment Monday. The people might not get another shipment till the week done, till the truck is fixed. And after it's fixed, we're going to go on short runs, 10 miles here, 5 miles there, to make sure everything is working. Because the next thing you know, Joe forgot to put on a screw. Let me tell you what happened one time. Let me tell you what happened one time. So we had this van. Joe, did that thing happen to the old van? Joe, it was the new van, but it was outside of warranty? Yeah. And what was the thing that came off? The drive shaft? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. So what were you fixing? Why that had to come off? The differential? Sure. The, the, why did you have to take the drive shaft off? Yeah, what were you fixing? No, no, you were fixing something and you guys put it on, and then it dropped off. Yeah. What were you fixing first? It wasn't the, differ the differential. Is that attached to the drive yeah, shaft? The differential went out. Isn't that the thing when we drive off the van and knock? Is that the differential? Yeah. There was a big knock. Okay, so the differential went out on the van. The van was outside warranty. It was probably five, six years old. Bought it brand new. And so then buy the thing, put it on Joe and his brother Rudy. And they put on the drive shaft. And when they were done, there was like three or four big bolts and screws left. So they called the brother Richard, that's the mechanic, because he lived you know, 50 miles away from here. And they said, are we supposed to be left with these when we, when we finish with the kit? And he goes, no, everything should have been used on the car. And so they said, well, we already drove it around the block several times and it's working. And he goes, okay, 
That's all the mechanic ever said. Okay. That okay was, you go F around and find out. So the Monday morning, I'm driving the kids to school. And we get all the way around the bend, half mile. Right, Joe? Cross the main street. And all I heard is, legend, 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 legend. I'm like, what the F is that? So I pulled over. And I looked underneath the thing, the whole drive shaft. <laughs> I called for Jojo. Said I did a work. I can't come and rescue you. I called for his brother, and I said, "Can you come take the kids to school?" So I could call towing or whatever, right? So he came and he took the kids to school, and I wait there for the tow truck, and they put it on the flatbed, and they drive it right back around the bend, and then the other brother had to come and put all the parts together. And so I'm like, when it's done, I love my boo. And thank God for YouTube videos nowadays. Back then, they never have YouTube videos to show you all this crap. But we're going to drive it around the bend. <laughs> we're going to drive it around the bend to make sure this, this thing's not going to explode. <laughs> <coughs> By the way, I only had one fit of cough. No, two fits of cough yesterday. And I didn't have no fits this morning. Just a little bit that you see me do here and there. I didn't have that fit where I like, feel like I'm dying. So I think I'm getting there. It's like, man, we've been through some stuff. The brother was able to come because he used to live right down the street from us. So he had already dropped his kids to school. So he came and snatched up my boys, took them to school. Jada stayed with me because she wasn't in school. And then um, when the tow truck came, thank God we had the towing. And they brought the thing right back home. I'm telling you, them, them people, every time he fixed anything, I'm like, why is this screw left here? Didn't the screw belong to going this thing? Is this extra screw? What is <laughs> Oh, my God. The stories we can tell. We should write a whole book, not just my mom's book. So, oh, shit. I was going to tell you my, the name of my mom's book, and I was going to F up because then somebody could steal a name. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. The book is almost done. I'm proofread I'm spending the day proofreading today, believe it or not. I'm spending the day proofreading today. It's a really, it's a really fun little book to read. Yes, I tell the story about when she got sick the three times with the cancer, but you you get so motivated and uplifted every time she won. And then the third time she didn't. But I wrote the ending so beautifully because I wrote the last chapter as if I don't know what my mom saw when she was transitioning, but I know what was happening in the room when she was transitioning. So I wrote that part factually and the rest that i spliced in between is what i think she may have saw that's why i reached out to that psychic to see who came to meet her because i had my own ideas right and i in the last you know the letter from the co-author you know how i always have a letter from the author in my books the letter from the co-author i tell them i tell the reader the parts where she's transitioning and she's seeing the loved ones on the other side is what i hoped she saw i put those parts in so I think when it's all said and done, it might take an hour to an hour and a half for you guys to read the book. So it's a lot of proofreading. And I have people waiting. My Aunt Lita is lighting a fire underneath me. When the book gone done, another friend of mine, he's lighting a fire. When the book gone done, I'm like, oh, God. I got to stay here and get this damn book done. I hope these 32 buns could fit in that box from the post office where my sister and get shot changed for she pulled a bun. She gonna get shot change. Kathy, Kathy wanna know what she missed. Kathy, I'm gonna leave this one up. But basically what you missed was some stupid random lady come on one of my videos with Jada's ancestry and talk about, you know, cause we found out that me and Joe are cousins. So Joe is the father to my kids and he's also cousin to my kids. I'm the mother to my kids and I'm also cousin to my kids. It's stupid, but it's like 23 centimorgans. I don't count that crap, you know? We still don't have nobody in common except for cousin Jay and my cousin Cindy. We don't make nobody else that we know. Mm -hmm. And Christine, when you have time, give me a call. Okay, it's not, it's not urgent. If Christine is still in here, when you have time, give me a call. It's not urgent. Just whenever you have time, give me a call. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really sorry that my cousin lost his motorcycle driver and friend to a senseless shooting in Belize. I'm here to tell you, Cousin Jay, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, 
I'm referring to John Nord, son of Adriana. Remember, they have uh, Kenneth Eldridge. Then they have um, Eileen Adele. That's the one girl. Then they have Edward Ned. That's another boy. And then they have Derek Scott. I don't know John's middle name. Or maybe John is his middle name, and I don't know his first name. Can you get me that second name or first name? If you know it. Winston? It's Winston? See, I would have never known that. John Winston? Okay. And I don't want to go ask his granddaughters because remember when I reached out to them on Facebook, they don't even answer me. They think they poop don't stink, I think. John Winston? Okay. I'll put that in the book. I'll put that in the book. And then we I saw from one of your um, emails that you sent me that um, Adriana's name was Adriana Matilda. I was like, oh my God, Matilda. Jada says, I'm going to name my daughter Matilda from the movie Matilda. John Winston, probably from Winston Churchill. That's where they really got that name from. Yeah. So this live, basically, I'm not going to eat on camera. Unless I, I only, if I eat on camera, I tape it because that way I can cut out anything I need to cut out. But, um, this live is just to tell you guys, don't send money to buy the powder bonds themselves. Because I, I remember I said I was going to come back and do a commercial to tell you guys how to do it. Yet don't do it. I don't want to bake. I don't want to bake. That's going to kill me. That's going to kill my spirit. You're going to see me come out here, look hollow and dead like Kate on that bench, like an AI. You know, you know that was an AI, right? That wasn't Kate. And honestly, I don't think Kate has the big C. I think she's sick with something else, but not the big C. That's my opinion. Matilda, yeah. Jada likes those weird names like Penelope and Matilda and Calliope. She likes weird names like that. I'm sure if she has a kid, if the kid's going to have a weird name. Hi, Hazel. Yeah, the, the young man, the motorcycle driver, he was driving. I, I saw the update from Love FM. He was driving a Toyota RAV4 on Philip Golson Highway, and he was in Ladyville area, and they shot him several times while he was driving. And this young man, my sister met him. My sister says, nobody can convince me that he was into anything dire because he was sweet, calm, peaceful, respectful, humble, handsome young man, pretty eyes. And Tracy says, can I take a picture with you? Because he's always with Andrew, right? And Andrew's famous. And he goes, yeah, with me? You want a picture with me? 38 years old. Over what? Over what? I don't know. They're collecting an offering for him. Man, it's sad. It's so sad. Then you saw where the young woman was killed in the road traffic accident where the car flipped over and she and her unborn child died. I saw somebody post that. I don't know who she is, though. But they said a lot of people in the car was injured. A car a whole flip over? What, how fast were you going? Were you overtaking? What were you doing? You see why you're not supposed to ride in a people car? It's scary. I saw that girl, Jennifer Burroughs. She was on a live one time, and her kid almost got killed by a car. Did The car knocked the back of the bicycle, the, the back wheel. And she said when she called for the cabs, she asked them, were you drinking today, sir? And they get mad. And she said, when they get mad, she don't get in their cars. Because if you are not drinking, the honest answer is going to be, no, I wasn't drinking. But if you were drinking and somebody asked you that question, then you're going to get pissed, right? So she don't go. She don't go with them. It's scary. That's a, You remember one time, oh, my God. You guys, this happened on Twitch when I used to go live on Twitch. Remember one time when somebody came in alive and said that they've known me since I was young? when I first got with Joe and they gave me a ride home one day from my dad's shop. You guys remember that story? And that thing was a whole lie. And when I called them out on the lie, they got pissed. Remember that story? And I'm like, I don't get in a nobody car. If I was at my dad's store, when I first got together with Joe, he, my dad and mom would never allow me. If Joe was, where would Joe be? How would I be down there? When my dad opened the store, I already lived here. I didn't live in LA anymore. So why would Joe drop me off at the store? Where would he be? He would never drop me at the store and go visit his people. He would go maybe make a delivery for my dad and come back 
And then I would come home here with him 50 miles away. And I said, I don't ride in people's car, ma'am. You're lying. That person was pissed. And I said, how the, what? Oh, before you even had kids. Well, before I had kids, my dad didn't have the store. Make it make sense, Jesus. And I said, I, wouldn't, I was, you see how people could put you in a car, right? I'm like, that wasn't me. My mother and father would never allow me to ride in some random stranger's car and not wait for Joe. They would take me home with them if Joe had to go somewhere and come back and meet me. They wouldn't allow me to go where? Where did the person take me home to? I didn't live in LA anymore. Where did this person take me? Pray to, man, people used to come in and do all kind of shit in my lives. Hi, Lady Claire. If you're the one that bought the stuff, I sent it out already because I'm making this Claire name mix up, okay? Then people come in and tell, oh, I can't lie. And I'm like, no. And then they don't want you to call it out and go, why do you make it such a big deal? That's what the person said. Why are you making it such a big deal? And I said, it's a big deal because it's a lie. I don't like lies. Why do you think Joanne is sister not talk? Because she lied on me in case she's listening from the bushes. She lied on me. I could be dead and he won't talk to you because you lied on me. You need to come back and make right with that because it was a lie from the pits of Hades. And you could have told the lie better if you had said, I said it to a third party. But no, you said, I said it to you. Bitch, it's a lie. I don't F around with liars. If I see that you're a liar, I part ways with you right away. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Nair cannot do it. I Hazel, it could be, but I think the person was a troll. I think the person was somebody who was in my inner circle, like close to me. And then maybe I pushed them out because the minute you start to cause me stress, you got to go. I don't have to cuss you. I don't have to hate you. Just go. I don't want to be friends with nobody in YouTube except the friends that I have now because when I talk, they know I'm not talking about them. I don't go to one moderator and tell that moderator stuff about the other moderator. We don't. I don't do shit like that because I don't want to get into gossip. I don't want to be embarrassed. You know, when you're in gossip, you're always embarrassed, right? No. So if I'm talking something, don't think it's you I'm talking about because sometimes I just want to talk a topic randomly from something that I saw. You know, like if I say, oh, a family member said this about, sometimes it's not even a family member, it's a friend. Sometimes when I say a friend, it's a family member. I have to be vague. Like when Troyce was telling a story one time about a friend and he said, she, 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 she. When he came here, I found out it was a he and I'm like, okay, I get it. I do the same thing. Sherry Shepard does the same thing in her comedy. When she talked about me that time, she said, I rode the train with her. I didn't ride no damn train with Sherry Shepard. I've never been on a train. But it's not really a lie. She's twisting and contorting the story as to protect the innocent or the guilty. It's creepy. When I see Do Not Go Live and he talks about the, the things he goes through at the hands of these people that try to get close to him, it's the same stuff I went through. I'm not going through that now, thank you, God, because I've got some good people surrounding me. You know what I mean? Some people that I trust with my whole heart. Every time you get too tight with somebody on YouTube, the first thing when you go live and start to tell one story, was that about me? No, bitch. I'm not even thinking about you. Sometimes you're just telling a random story from something that happened in your own life, but you don't want to call no names. Cousin Jay, I, I have to, um when we talk again, probably not today because when I'm done, I'm going to eat and edit. But I have to ask you if you may ask the lady, your best friend, about that story about my cousin and the, and the father, why they parted ways. I got to ask you that story. I forgot to ask you that the other day. It's creepy, but there are things that, you know, like, for instance, my brother has a nickname, right? And I didn't put his nickname in the book, even though my mom telling the story referred to him as his nickname. But I, I took a consensus from my entire family. And I asked them, should I put the nickname? Because I put everybody nickname in the book, right? My aunt that died that was named Babsy, B-A-B-S-Y, is my name is B-A-B-S-I-E. I, we spell it different to differentiate who it is, right? I tell everybody nickname. I didn't tell my brother's nickname. The reason why I don't tell my brother's nickname is because if anybody knows it, then I know they really know us. Because a lot of people come out of the woodwork and say, I know you guys. From the time you were in All Saints School, I said, who was the principal? 
They usually get that right because it was one principal for the longest time. I said, what was my brother's nickname? I don't know. Then you don't really know me because me and my brother were like twins at the school. So I didn't put the nickname in the book because I don't want nobody to get the nickname. Oh, the fish didn't bite? Okay, I get it. I get it. That means they know something. They know something. Hi, Diane, darling. How are you? Yes, I'm going to leave it up. Lady Claire, I'm going to leave it up. Mm -hmm. There's so much things that you have to keep close to the vest. I can't say. Like my enzyme deficiency, I've never named it. Because if they look it up, they know how to harm me. It's on this bracelet. And they rather tell me that I have diabetes while I wear the bliss. Okay, I have diabetes. Then go ahead. Since you know why I got, I know why this day are. I wanted to buy the blood type test from um, Amazon and test it and do a whole review on it. But child, I'm going to have to review what our blood types are. The hell? Mm -mm. Next, you know, they come for me like that Clint Eastwood movie. No. I, I understand, Cousin Jay, and I'm glad you didn't push it. You ordered the mix. I already sent it. I already sent it. I sent it Friday. I borrowed Jada truck and we're going to send it. Thank you so much. You always so supportive of me. Thank you so much. I think I put a card in there too because I think that, that was you. I think I figured out that was you. Yeah. And you know, we know how to dig, right? We know how to dig the thing. So this is what, this is what the box would have looked like, guys. But we ain't going to do it. It's going to be too much money that I have to invest. And I'm going to get pissed when I'm baking these powder buns. I'm going to bake them in anger. I'm going to bake them in anger and go, why does one want this in this box instead of that in that box? Oh, God, why? Why did they just buy what I'm selling? You know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys, we've been here an hour. We want people to be able to get through this. What I'm looking at on YouTube, all my mediums, my psychics, well, I was going to say astrologers, but I don't really watch the astrologers because they're complicated. I don't get what they're trying to teach me. I like the mediums and the psychics and the card readers because they keep you calm. They don't give you no bad news. They keep you calm. Hazel, that's the best thing to do. Keep it small. <coughs> keep your circle small. And the minute... The minute I meet you and I find out you to frustrate me, we don't have to be enemies, but we're going to have to part ways because I don't want nothing. I'm going to be 58. August 14th, I'm going to be 58. I want to have a birthday party. But if money keeps flowing the way it's flowing right now, which is not, we won't be able to afford to have the party. But the reason why I keep talking about the party is because that's a goal that I've set for myself that if I don't set it, I won't meet it. But if I set the goal and I don't meet the goal, I won't feel bad. Let's say the time come near my birthday and I see I can't afford to have the party. Then I just won't have the party. I won't cry. I'll make whatever I want to eat like I always do and go to the beach. But this year, I really feel it in my spirit to have a party. I want a lot of people to come and celebrate with me. I want to have the music loud. I'd love to have a band, even if Jada put a band together and she, she don't know nobody to put a band together with right now. But that might happen. I'd like to have the drag queens come and give us a number. I'd like to have the Garifuna drummers. I want all these things. Hi, Sandra. Sandra, I'm going to leave it up so you can watch if you want to watch. It's only an hour long. But, girls, some shiznit be going on. We're going to talk privately too, okay, sis? All right, my darlings. It's cold in here. It's still cold in the house. Look at my little shoes. Can you see them? They're from Timu, or like Timu like to say they're from Temu. Timu said, I'm not Timu, you know, it's Temu, Temu. Okay. I think Joshua's done. You're done? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why he have to come here? Take so, take um, ibuprofen. I did already. Is it a throat? Yeah, it is. We have the throat lozenges that numbs it too. And the spray. Where's that lozenge? In the top drawer of daddy's dresser in a bag okay love you too sis we're gonna end it because we're here in an hour we don't want people to say it's too long 
And when the lady come and say, I wish you would just, another lady came and said, it would be nice if you would just stop talking. And, oh, if you would talk less and get to the receipt. And I didn't know what receipt was until I spoke to some, I spoke to my godmother and she said, you sure she didn't mean recipe? And I go, oh crap. Usually I can decipher what people are trying to say when they misspell things, right? I could not decipher that because I'm like, I didn't give her any gossip. So what receipt does she want? And so I just went back and I said, it would be nice if you would just shut the F up. And I, I put the letter. So I don't think she knows what it meant. Ooh. Bye guys. Have a blessed Sunday. I might go live tomorrow during the eclipse. I'm really excited about this eclipse. Okay. Bye. 18 people in this room. And that was my mom's lucky number. My grandmother's lucky number. My brother was born on the 18th. My son was born on the 18th. Always 18 people in this room. I love you guys. Bye.